And then I just wrote on the Facebook. I got loved everything, but I keep doing. And then one of my friends just read that and translated it to Spanish and shared to the Mexican people. And then they shared again, shared again, shared again, and spread for Mexico. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> wow. And wow. I got so many messages, and then it says, I'm sorry you heard、uh, bad things in my country. I want to do something to you. I want to prove to you Mexico is not a bad country. So please come to my house. Some people、uh, call me I'm a cafe owner. <laughs> <laughs> some people say I'm an adventurer. And some people say I'm a teacher because many people ask me, what, what, how, how do you live in the society? I just said, I do what I want to do. I just want to be honest to my heart. If the imag- imagination coming, Okay, let's do it. <laughs> But、uh, many, many people ask me what is the purpose before I do something. Okay, you tell people you do, do, you do this next, but what is the purpose? And I say, I don't know, because I want to see that. What's happening if I do this? So, the teacher, teachers in a school say, s I want you to tell to the student how, what is a life. Or the student asks me, What is a life plan five years later, ten years later? So, people want to organize the year plan for the life. But what I've been here is No, any plan. <laughs>、hmm. I just focus on something, and this、uh, became a next step for my life. And then、hmm. I do this next, and then the next imagination coming. And then after f i n i s h that, and I look back my life, it becomes a story.、Hmm. And then this is my story. So, I've been in 38 countries by bicycle. And then I do a free coffee on the street around Japan and in Korea, in a difficult situation, Japan, Korea, and then in Hong Kong, in a democratic. But I don't know. I just, I just did that because I wanted to do that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I think I read one of your i n t e r v i e w about、mm. how you start your adventure. It was because of your best friend passed away. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah.、Mm-hmm. He was actually, oh, of course, my best friend. And also, he was a much better person than me. I、mm. mean, in a society, he studied. Better than me, and then his sport skill is much better than me. He had、um, a much more friends than me, and he had a girlfriend too. He had the dream for the future, you、mm. know. In teenagers, i dreaming to be like that, you know.、Mm. Everybody says, Oh, he's a good person. But we also are good friends. And then he just passed away. And then I, I thought, like, what is life, you know? If someone c h o o s e okay, who, who is going, I don't want to choose him because he can be a good person in a society too, like、mm. leading people. Okay, come this way. But he just passed away. And then 
I I thought what I should study from that. It was a really sad things, but I thought don't waste his life. And then I thought, okay, what I study. Okay. And then I decide, don't regret the life anymore. Life is very short. Even me, I'm not sure the next year I'm living here or not. You mm. know. Nobody can uh, prove that. So after you learn this story, how does that make you want to start bike touring? It was it was in the Netherlands. I stayed in a youth, youth hostel in Amsterdam. Mm. And then I had a dinner in a restaurant. And then two old Japanese men came to the restaurant and found me. And then, yeah, they asked me, oh, you are you Japanese? And I said, yes. And then, what are you doing? And I, I answered, I'm on uh, backpacking. And I ask them, what are you doing now? And then, we are on a bike tour to the Germany now. And then, what? Yeah. Did you bring your bicycle to here? And then they say, yes. Mm. And then, how long are you traveling to? Uh, about three weeks. And then, it was the first time I met someone who was traveling with bicycle. And also for the bike backpacking, very interesting. Every day is okay, meeting new people, meeting new scenery, and then, and then I just ask them, what is a uh, good point? They just say a simple word. We can feel we live now with a bicycle. <laughs> I was 20 years old, but I never uh, feel like I'm living now in a, you know, only 20 years uh, mm. life. I live mm. now. Oh, oh. I never. <laughs> so I just wanted to feel I'm living now. Mm. That's why I started by bicycle too. Yeah, that time I was the uh, fourth year of my university. And then mm. after meeting them, I decided, okay, I do a bicycle trip after graduation of mm. university. And mm. then and then bought a bicycle and did a part-time job for several months and then just started. But you never imagined this will take 17 years. I, I set my first limit to the 25 years old. Okay, yeah. two years in is enough for the experience, to have experience for the bike trip to the abroad, but it wasn't finished. <laughs> Why do you want to continue the the journey? Actually, after starting my bicycle trip to abroad, I visited many, many, many places and I also met so many people. But mm. most of them are not living in a sightseeing place or a big city. Mm. Very country, remote place, small village very poor or something and then many of them asked me to having a food you know meal together or they invite me to the house for sleeping yeah. and then i can spend a very very good time with them but in in that day make me actually i don't know how to say but uh, because mm. I'm from Japan. Mm. I have enough money for living. But they still want to do something to the guest, actually, to me. And then first, I couldn't understand mm. why they can do this. If the opposite things happen, that someone from a very rich country come to my house and or come to my town, and then how I can believe them and then okay come to my house or how I can uh, giving my important thing to them mm. why they can do it to me mm. that was a very big shock for my life you know because in Japan the people and teachers said okay you find a good job you get a good money then you can do something good for the other people Mm. First, 
make your life good, then helping people, helping world. But what I experience in the other country is totally opposite. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't have to wait, just be kind. Yeah, actually, I found a very, very rich something in their heart, not like a money and then inside. Mm. Mm. They know how to share the happiness. They know how to help the people. But mm. we in Japan, it's not like that. Mm. Oh, this is my money. This is mine. Not you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? I don't want to share this because I spent this. a big effort to make this. Mm. Yeah. Oh. That was actually a big shock to me. Mm, mm. Then I thought I really want to know this before uh, be like 20 years old. Or I wanted to know this in much younger days. Mm. But I I couldn't go back to my life. Then I thought like, okay, how to share these really important things for the life to the different people. Mm. Then I changed my mind for traveling. Oh, before I also travel like for not as long as you, but also like a long time travel. I know you're yeah. solo traveler, which you go only by yourself. Ne? Mm. Sometimes um, when you travel for a long time, you will feel, don't you feel lonely? Actually, don't... one time in Himalaya, Northern mm. India, I had a really hard time to pass the uh, mountain over 4,500 meter high. With the bike, with the bike. Yeah. <laughs> and that time was physically, mentally really hard mm. time for me. And then I was almost really lonely. I feel like lonely in that time. But after that, there's something coming in front, inside of me. I, there are so many people's face on my mind. I remember, okay, my mother, my father, my sister or the best friend. And then I, I remember many people's thing in that situation. Mm. And then that imagination gave me a lot of energy for uh, keep going. Mm. And then after reach to the next town in Northern India, and then I connect to internet since 10 days or two weeks. Mm. And then I open, I open my email and then there are so many message coming from the family and the friends. And then most of them say, are you okay? Are you live? Uh, do you, uh, you survive or whatever? <laughs> mm. And then that time I realized the uh, physically, I how say, the distance is not a problem. Mm. If I live in the uh, opposite side of the earth from Japan, if I still have a good, uh, how say, if I thought about uh, my important people thing, the heart to heart is very close. Mm. If mm. others also think the same thing. Mm. So distance is not, not a problem. Mm. The important thing is that you believe, okay, I'm living beside of them the family and friend and wife or whatever. Mm. So I had several really difficult things <laughs> on the bicycle trip, but I never regret to mm. face that kind of situation because every time after take over that difficulties, I study really, really important for life. Did you 
sometimes encounter the dangerous situation because I、mm -hmm. heard I read from your interview that you met the gunshot men in Mexico.、Oh, yeah. They rob、mm. everything from you, but、yeah. you still didn't want to quit. How、mm. did you like? What did you do? What happened? Did people actually? You? After that happened, I actually the police take me to the police station, and then I had to spend one night in there,、mm -hmm. in the room. And then I thought, how I can go back to my country is one thing. Yeah. The other thing I thought whole night is, I. Spend so much time to share to the young people in Japan, like student. World is not a bad place. Ah,、um. <laughs> world is、uh, full of hope, full of peace, full of warm-hearted people, warm-hearted people. I kept telling that to the student,、mm. but on that time, I had a really bad situation, right? Yeah. If I quit my trip now and then go back to my country, the student think, "Oh, world is not safe anymore." Master、mm. also couldn't, <laughs>、uh... and then I decide, "Okay, keep doing." I have to bring another story to my student in Japan,、mm. and then I just wrote on the Facebook. I got loved everything, but I keep doing. And then one of my friend just read that and translated to Spanish and shared to the Mexican people.、Yeah. And then they shared again, shared again, shared again, and they spread for Mexico. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> wow. And wow. I got so many messages, and then it says, "I'm sorry." You heard、uh, bad things in my country.、Mm. I want to do something to you. I want to prove to you Mexico is not a bad country. So please come to my house. Wow. Yeah. Wow. So, so I I still wanted to believe the possibility of life and hope.、Mm. I I can't. Live myself, but I can live with people,、mm. not only friends, not only family.、Mm. The people in the world is a people I can be a friend.、Mm. <laughs> It's、mm. a possibility. Open my heart first, not close my heart first. You know, if I open my heart. And then it depends you. If you open your heart, we can be a good friend.、Mm. Many people says world is not safe, but crisis, but people are different culture, different things that makes you close your heart. I don't want、uh, the people to be like that.、Mm. I want people to believe the possibility. Of the world, or people. That what I wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> like you don't、yeah. want it to be like bad story, <laughs> so you. I don't want to. I don't want to make success. I just、mm. wanna be a test. I do first, instead、mm. of other people. The people、mm. dreaming. Oh, I want to live like this. I I. I want to see this kind of world, the peace, but、mm. not dreaming. Only dreaming is not a good thing.、Mm. Do it first, in my size. Yeah. Not, not have to spread to the world. You can just do it in front of you. Yeah. So when you saying this, it reminds me the your free coffee project. Uh, especially when you go to the Korea or、yeah. to the Hong Kong,、um, I just wonder before you go there, what did you think? Because if there's a protest, 
especially what we saw on the news in the media every day. Even my friend, like a Hong Kongese friend, she told me like, oh, the police is everywhere. Probably even now, I don't, I don't want to go travel to Hong Kong because I don't think it's a safe place. Mm-hmm. How can you just decide it? Okay, I will want to go. Like actually, actually, when I saw the news, not only a TV news, internet news, I just fo- I also follow the uh, like uh, individual journalist Twitter mm. or something, mm. and then when I saw it, I I thought like, what a courage to people. Mm. There was big risk to the pro- protest in that situation but people still going out to the town and then expressing you know mm. something to the world and then I saw um, respect of course me and many people in Japan they think oh this is our hope and you know we want to um make a society like this but mostly the people think first themselves mm. own self protect then doing something other but when i saw hong kong people in the media they i thought like oh they do something for the future not protecting them mm. <laughs> they they still see something hope to the future that's why they doing that and then i thought what i can do for them now and then i just thought okay i can give coffee to them <laughs> mm. that's why i went there a very simple thing when i was 19 years old i lost my best friend mm. and what i studied from him is don't regret for my life Mm. so of course I have a lot of like worrying something or uh, fear sometimes but the answer is I don't want to regret that's mm. only one answer for me so if I face to this kind of fearness or uh, like worrying things I just go back to the simple answer okay I don't want to regret my life mm. then okay just go <laughs> Uh, you are calling by your heart like you go where your heart is because first imagination coming from here but after that we think (laughs) I think this is not good (laughs) this trying to take this one to the real yeah but But I want to make a better world. <laughs> mm. But I don't want to be a politician. <laughs> I see. Mm. I don't yeah. want to work as a like a high society, high class something. Mm. I want to be my size, my small size, but still I want to change the world. That's why mm. I do that kind of thing. Mm. so Mm. you start the free coffee bike journey around japan right and i'm very curious what did you find in the end after finishing uh the bike trip to mexico (laughs) i realized why i can live here Mm. is not making money (laughs) because everybody helped me Mm. to live in Mexico after I got loved. Yeah. So I realized that why I can live is not making money, the connecting people. I mean, the people helping each other, that's why we can live here. So money is very important uh, tool. But money is not a connecting people. Mm. Connecting people is heart to heart. But in Japan, 
as I told you, the people said making money first. Make your own life with uh, enough money first, then connecting people, helping society or something, other people. But I wanted to make a test. If I don't bring any money, I mean zero, and start serving free coffee on the street, what's happen? Or uh, I can live or not with that. And then I started that from Tokyo. Mm. Or this is a one test. And the other test is people can connect or not mm. on the road. One cup of coffee can connect people or not. Mm. Because we don't we don't know each other before that. Yeah. And I'm not in uh, my hometown. I'm in a different town. But just making coffee. Okay, present, 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 and what's happening? And then people, first people look me with a long distance. Mm, mm. Mm, what's happening there? But <laughs> one, the one guest coming, mm. the people um, feel, oh, okay, I can believe that. And then people coming and coming, 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 and then the small community, mm. and then I serving coffee, to them and after that i just i just standing there people start chatting each other people start to share the sns each other mm. and then people become friendly in front of me um so, sometimes they share their important something for life and start crying <laughs> mm. and then they say they say thank you to me and then bye bye or mm. some Somebody put the money on the table. Some ta- someone go back to the home and make a rice bowl for me and then bring back hey. a bottle of coffee bean for me. Mm, wow. And then I I traveled one year all Japan with free, oh, free yeah. coffee from zero. And then after finish that, now I have uh, so many friends all over Japan. <laughs> wow! Mm. So the thing is not how to make money. Mm. The thing is how to make people happy. If the someone is not my friend, but still I try to see this person as a friend. And then I can do my best work to this person mm. you also can do a big effort to your family and friend the same mm. the mind everybody is a friend if someone come in front of me okay mm. start mm. so every single cup of coffee i try to brew i brew to the best friend or best family mm. and then people take it and then drink you can imagine, this can be the best coffee ever. Because stranger make this coffee with a fruit of heart and then drink. Oh, this is not just a free coffee. <laughs> mm. So I think mm. this is the key of life. You treat people with all your heart. Yeah, your don't best make wishes. any stranger. Don't make any stranger. Everybody can be your friend or your family. Mm. Then you can make all, you can use all your energy to this person or something. Mm. Mm. These things can make a next thing. Don't save your energy. Just put all your energy to something. Mm. That's it. So, so far, has any kids wants to quit in the halfway? Or are they all... So many. So, so many. many. <laughs> yeah, so many came to my tent in the night and start crying. I want to go back to... <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> and then I, I just go... said, okay, no problem. <laughs> no problem. <laughs> Oh,